Hi, this is Drew Slocum with InspectPoint, here to give a few pointers on performing a visual inspection on a fire protection system. We're just doing a visual inspection here today, but if we were doing a test, you want to communicate with the on-site contact to make sure the fire alarm panel is in test mode. You don't want to mistakenly call the fire department during that test to cost the customer more money and time. When doing the visual inspection, you might want to contact the on-site contact just in case there are any trouble or supervisories going off on that fire alarm panel, just to keep that in mind when doing a visual inspection of all your valves. So coming up to this valve, we want to identify what type of valve it is, wet, dry, deluge, or pre-action. So there's a couple key components to identify what type of system we have here. If you look at the front of the valve, We've got the manufacturer and model number right there. Really in the last 50 years, most valves out there will have that information on there. So that could be easily done. A lot of the new ones have QR codes to see what actually style valve it is and brings up the tech data sheet. Other than that, uh, I recognize an air maintenance device back here that's connected to a compressor. You might have a riser mounted compressor on there as well. That would indicate a dry type system could be a pre-action, but this is a, this is a dry type Tyco DPV-1 here. Other than that, we do have an air pressure gauge up here with a high-low air pressure switch. We also have an accelerator over there, so I definitely know this is a dry pipe system. So moving on, once we know it's a dry pipe system, we're going to start at the bottom here and work our way up visually. So down here we've got our control valve for the system. This is a butterfly valve that's monitored back at the panel. The indicator is in the vertical positions, therefore it is open, ready to go, water up to the valve. Moving up to the dry pipe valve here, we have our water gauge, which is below the clapper of the valve. There is a clapper in here that holds the water pressure back in the dry pipe system. This does need to be visually inspected annually, depending on the authority that you are a part of. So on top of this clapper here, we have air pressure holding that clapper holding that water back. At a certain point when the sprinkler head goes off, the pressure in the dry side of this valve and system come down. At a certain point, the valve flips open, introducing water into the system. Back here, you really don't see it, but there's a water flow pressure switch, which will then alert the fire alarm panel that you have a fire condition. A couple more visual checks here. Uh, We've got our, our water gauge here, like I said before, but we have our air pressure gauge here as well. Depending on the manufacturer and model type, your air pressure is going to change relative to what type of model and, and manufacturer you have. You want to refer to the manufacturer's recommendations for that water and air pressure. You also can look over to the visual tag here to see what the settings were at last time. And also you have documentation from your last visit of what type type of system, dry system we're working with here. Finally, we have an accelerator over here. Not every dry pipe valve has that, but we want to visually inspect the air pressure gauge on top of the accelerator. Make sure that is the same as the air pressure on top of the clapper. So everything's good to go there. We're going to depress the plunger to make sure the clapper's fully down. And we also have a, a plunger over here. If there's any water coming out of this automatic drip valve, we want to definitely document that on our inspection report and you have a much bigger issue going on with your valve. At that point, if you do have water coming out of here, you want to shut down your control valve, look at the manufacturer's recommendations and perform some maintenance on it. That's pretty much it for a visual inspection of this dry pipe system. Off to the next one. Thank you.